last story we'll talk about is this, um, this like wild post on the Hedera subreddit. Um, I'll just zoom in here a little bit. Um, <laughs> this post here, uh, is like some military grade hopium, um, for the Hedera ecosystem. And it kind of goes into all of these very like nebulous, um, announcements, like things that Eric Pizzini, CEO of Swirls Labs, AKA Hashgraph was talking about in regards to like real world assets. Um, Lehman talking about stock market stuff, Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock talking about DLT things, um, special purpose networks, um, more things from Mance, uh, quotes, all of these different types of things. Like, look how long this thing is. Um, and this was assembled by Reddit user Oak1337, shout out, Prelite. And this is a wild read. Um, it's a patchwork of bullish stuff that I, to be honest, I kind of enjoyed reading. Um, not to say that it's like, like who knows what it is, but basically a quick summary of what's in this post. And I encourage people to go check it out. It's pretty wild is, um, so, uh, there's quotes and, and, you know, from Dr. Lehman Baird, right. The inventor of the hash graph algorithm, um, talks about, you know, how hash graph is perfect for running a stock market due to its fair ordering and instant instantaneous settlement capabilities. And then goes on to kind of mention, that Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock, supports the tokenization of securities using DLTs. Um, so there, you know, you start to fold it in, and then we've got um, Eric Pacini, the CEO of Swords, aka Hashgraph, Swords Lab, sorry, aka Hashgraph. Um, you know, emphasizing the demand for private networks and real world asset tokenization, which will interact through the Hedera public network. So you've got all these different, uh, you know, add some more little goodies to the pan that we're frying up. And then we've got um, all the different Hedera, unique Hedera capabilities like ABFT, fixed fees. Um, so this is where we kind of like remind ourselves how uniquely suited Hedera is for, um, you know, a use case like a stock market or something crazy like that. Um, then we've got, you know, BlackRock comes back in with a focus on ESG principles suggesting um, that potentially, you know, uh, when we see BlackRock talking about stuff like this, the ways in which they talk about DLT, it's like, okay, Hedera has the Guardian, they have the carbon tracking platforms, they have this, these integrations, this infrastructure. Um, so that's very interesting. And then you've got the, uh, the, the uh, DTCC that we keep seeing brought up all the time, interest in um, digital tokenization. Um, so there's been a ton of breadcrumbs on that. So it's like, okay, crazy. And then we've got different proof of concepts like Aberdeen on the governing council, um, you know, tokenizing uh, BlackRock money market funds on Hedera, um, tokenizing their own money market funds on Hedera, talking about all these different types of things in various interviews. And then we've got um, companies like ServiceNow on the governing council, NVIDIA, um, Dell Technologies on the governing council, um, Deloitte, um, developing like AI factories and all these sorts of different things. So it's like there's all of this swirling th stuff happening. We talk about a lot of it on the show, but this post here, again, it's hard to make sense of it. It kind of is a patchwork of all sorts of different things coming together, um, but it is pretty crazy to see. I just got to sneeze. Excuse me. I feel like allergy season's coming up, um, but that is something that I think is very, very, um, you know, very exciting. And it makes you think, it gets you kind of thinking about, okay, you know, here we are, we definitely need to focus on marketing. We definitely need to focus on retail, um, all these different types of things. But the other aspect to this is, um, that lingering question, what's happening behind the scenes, right? Um, what's going to be changing on so many different fronts, right? How is the Hedera organization going to change in line with Charles's letter? Um, what kinds of use cases and movement are we going to see um, with all of the things we've seen building up from coupons to 
um, ESG to supply chain to the, you know, Hyundai and Kia things. What kinds of new governing council members are we going to see join the council? Um, what kind of other switch ups and change ups are we going to see in leadership? All of these different types of things start swirling around. And, you know, just when you kind of think that Hedera is a little boring, then you kind of, you know, once you're in it, you're kind of like, okay, you know, you start to kind of, you start to kind of realize that it really, like any network, right? When you're really in the network, when you're really um, hyper-focused on it and you can kind of see the nuance, see the details, it does get you excited. And as we were doing at the beginning of the show, looking at the price of HBAR and pulling back, you start to kind of see like these challenges that Hedera is facing, um, these predicaments that are happening. It, it's not unique. Hedera is not the first network to come up against these things. So that's a really kind of important thing to see. And yeah, uh, great example here. So James mentioned, you know, the quarter three big announcement. Um, as people are familiar on the show, you know, I on episode, what was it? Jeez, it was in March. There was an episode in March that I did where I got information from a, you know, a highly credible anonymous source and they were talking about something that would they were talking about two things that would happen. The first turned out to be the BlackRock stuff and then the second thing was a, you know, major use case in quarter 3. So we're in quarter 3 now until um uh, the end of September. So we're almost smack dab in the middle of quarter three. So who knows, right? Who knows what's going to be happening? Who knows what's next? Um, I think that my assumption is we're, we're going to continue seeing more changes, more shakeups, um, more, uh, more molding of, of this network, because like we were saying, Hedera has taken a pretty conservative approach to things. The industry around it has changed. Um, and it's really important for um, Hedera to continue changing and evolving in all sorts of different types of things. Um, so I think that um, that's really, 